100 years ago today in the city of Dayton, it started to rain. And after a few days of persistent rain, this is what we had. The great flood of 1913 ki killed nearly 400 people and thousands of animals. Wally Aliu has managed to find somebody who knows a man very well who can tell us all about what that flood was like. Charles Adams passed away last September at 99 years old, just months shy of the 100th anniversary of the Dayton flood that almost took his life, as well as his twin sisters. My grandmother, my grandfather, and my great-grandfather were rescued in a boat with the twins, but immediately the boat hit a tree. As Adams' daughter Jean looks through photos that remind her of the devastation from the flood, she tells the miraculous story of her dad's survival. My dad floated for an entire block in the floodwaters before he was picked up. And then my aunt floated two blocks away and was picked up on someone's porch. Jean says the one-year-old twins were found alive in the ice-cold water wrapped in nothing but blankets. All I can say is that my grandmother must wrap an incredible <laughs> I just can't explain it. It's just one of those miracles. And I think that's what people loved about my dad's story is the idea that a miracle like that could happen when I think 360 people died. And people did love to hear it. Gene says he shared his survival story with large groups almost 100 times, even up until his final days. The last talk he gave, I think, was in the spring, right before he died. He talked to a third grade class at Oakwood Elementary School. The kids all came and followed him to the car. <laughs> and really enjoyed him. Today, Carolina Historical Park opened up a 1913 Dayton flood exhibit, including this memorial for Charles Adams. But my dad wasn't aware that that was happening before he died. He would just be astounded. Although it's a wonderful thing to have all these memories, I just really wish he was here to share it. In Dayton, Wale Aliu, Fox 45 News. Jean says her aunt, Charles' twin sister, had heart complications, and after surviving the flood of 1913, she was able to live only to the age of 48.